Hey guys, Chad Close here. Today I am doing a Unity tutorial, not a Blender. Um, it's a little different, but I know a lot of people who use Blender actually use Unity too because it is a free game engine. Um, it's called Unity 3D. Check it out. I'm just going to show you guys an asset I just created. It is to create a vine between two parts. Um, pretty simple stuff. I'm just going to reset this. I actually have already made this tutorial and I did not have my mic on so I'm making it again so this is what it'll look like it'll just spawn a rope between two points I'm at the beginning of a game um, it's pretty nice you can uh, really play around with it too uh, I mean it's a, literally it's a rope which I think is pretty cool so let's get down to the scripts there is three scripts Finish lock, create links, and links creator. There is also two objects, the start and the finish. The start, start, um, prefab. Actually, there's three objects. There's the links too. Sorry about that. Um, the links creator, or the create links, we'll start off. I put them out of order. Create links goes on the start function. Pretty much, this is saying, let's just make a random link anywhere, just right where the start function is. And then we are going to tell the next link right here that it should connect to me. It should connect to the start. And then it's just saying create more. And um, the first and the last link, the render is off because they are, I should say, glitched, I guess. Um, they just don't look desirable. So just turn render off and there's no problem. All right. Let's move on to the next object, which will be the links. Oh, in the start, in the start object, you'll have a rigid body, hinge joint, and the create links. And then create chain link prefab, you just add links. Next, let's go to this links right here. Uh, in this, we have the link itself, the rigid body, hinge joint, and then the links creator, which is a script. Um, the variables are offset and chain link prefab that you really have to worry about. You don't have to worry about this render on. It doesn't really do anything if you change it or not. So, and as you can tell, the chain link prefab is itself, so it's actually recreating itself. Um, so, in here, pretty much what it's doing is it's just getting its variables. And then, uh, the offset I will talk about in one second. But, so this one uh, just turns off the render if it's on, connects the hinge right away, and then creates more link, creates more links. It finds the finish game object dot find finish it finds the finish then it's gonna look at the finish so this is for aiming purposes I guess you'd say it goes in the right direction next um this is where the offset comes into place we're gonna create a new position where we want to position the second chain link and we're just doing transition uh, transformation position and then we're gonna move it forward a certain offset and the offset what it's doing is it's there because say you have a small really small object you're gonna want a really small offset because if you have a big offset you're gonna get holes in your links and you don't want that and I'll show you an example uh, in a second and bigger the object the uh, bigger the number so then we're just gonna go ahead create the chain link at this the prefab at that position and transformation rotation then it's just gonna pass on the information that like hey new new link the rigid body you want to connect to is me that's what it's pretty much saying right here and saying create more and it's turning the render on and then uh, create links false is the second time it comes to update um, it doesn't actually make another link. the reason why I did not do this in the awake function is because game object dot find does not work so if you're screaming at me why don't you just do it in this awake it doesn't work so there Next, down here, looks complicated. It's really not. It's just saying the link you just made, if it's formation, transposition, if it's position, transformation, position, is the exact same as the finish, then we're done. We don't have to make any more chains. So what it's pretty much saying is if it is done, uh, more links, false. Don't make any more. Render, false. Don't show it all. We don't want to look at you. You look ugly. Down here, finish lock. This is telling the finish position to create a hinge onto this last chain link which we're doing this because um, if you didn't do this 
the last chain would just swing out of the way and it would not be connected to anything and you wouldn't get this this bowing effect right here. It wouldn't be connected to the finish right here. It would just swing and we don't want that. Maybe you do but you can just always cross that out. And then the last script, finish lock, it's pretty much got a static bar lock and hinge port lock. Pretty simple there. So let's get into some of the variables. It's kind of fun to play with. So links offset. We're gonna crank this up to say two, and as you can see, we're gonna get holes in our link. See, we don't want that. Uh, it's pretty much just offsetting too far. And if you do it really small, um, you're gonna get a lot, a lot of links, and you're gonna get a lot, a lot of slack. As you can see, there's already a lot of slack. And actually, I might have just like completely, cause yeah. Just don't even do this. It's making a never-ending rope. It's kind of cool. Just don't put the offset that low. Put it to something reasonable. Make the link, and it'll work. There we go. Yeah, so just the offsets here is just so you can make a nice and pretty rope. That's probably the best I'm going to get. 0.9. So, and then in here, you can always just move the finish and start if you want it to move. Um, you can move the start too, it doesn't really matter if I grabbed it correctly. So, you can play around with this. This asset will be uh, available to download. I'm going to add a link somewhere in the description. I don't know whether it's going to be a Dropbox or if it's going to be linked to my site that will have a download. But it will be there. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Um, comment, uh, like, subscribe. If you guys like these Unity tutorials, I'll start doing more. Um, thanks.